Hello and welcome back to Factorio Break the Game. My name's Ruth Negative and let's get cracking with another episode. Today I've got something uh, interesting planned and yeah, it's it's going to be good. So let's let's do it. Let's get on with uh, what I would like to get done today. Oh, don't get run over by a train. Uh, I think that's probably a good place to start. Now I'll uh, I just want to pick up all of this gear. Because right now, my mining speed far exceeds my smelting speed. And I can mine much faster than I can smelt. However, I would like to even it out as much as possible. Now that can go away, this can jump in there. So what I'd like to do is, first things first, we're going to upgrade the station. We've got this new blueprint that I built off, uh, off camera. And this will uh, stamp down directly over the top of what we already have. And why on earth is that not lining up? That doesn't seem to want to line up. See how that's jumping two squares instead of one? Very bizarre. Hurry up, construction bots. We need to get this sorted. That is very, very strange. I wonder if it's because of the substation. Anyway, let's get some uh, uh let's get some of this deleted. Actually, we'll just update this to, uh, oops, blue belt as well. Okay. Well, let me, let's, let's, uh, hmm. Let's stamp it down. Because what I'd like to blueprint, then, is just the belt output. Well, actually, hold on. I'm not thinking straight. Let's... Yeah, let, let's think about this for a moment. Because what I want to do... Is I want to put in some buffer storage. So, that is going to take uh, a fair bit of material. And I don't have what I need. Base provider. Right, let's get them on the way. I'll throw down these substations up here. Okay, something like that. Something like that. Now then. So that's all arranged. Just waiting for my chests. So once the chests get here I can start to uh, throw some things down. Oh, this has no power. Why do these have no power? Okay. That's a little bit odd. Now then what I need to do is this iron smelting line uh, this will need to come back to somewhere here-ish because these belts aren't uh, aren't going to be useful anymore basically do I have my no I don't have them yet bugger come on where are they lazy bots no oh, finally these down. Now the advantage of this is it's going to be self-sorting. So it will organize itself and it will do its own thing and balance itself as it goes. That's the plan. Mm, hopefully we can make it happen. 
Still waiting for a few more. Come on. Come on, lazy bots. Now this obviously is outside the network at the moment, so I need to hook it in. Okay, so we've got the beginnings of our buffer storage. Now, I want to just blueprint this. Okay, that's going to become important very shortly. We'll delete all of that because it's no longer required. Now, let's see if we can restructure this power line uh, shenaniganry a little bit. So we'll just uh, disconnect a few things here and there. Okay, obviously that leaves us with a bit of a gap in the network. However, I'm about to overcome that, hopefully. Lazy bots are working away. Now these uh, these two belt lines can go. They're no longer required. I'm hoping this is going to make train um, stations a little bit simpler. I'm going to need some robo ports. Because what we're going to be doing here is moving a lot of resources between the station and then the buffer storage. Oops, a little bit excited there. Now, uh, that's that, that's that. Right, now, for the buffer storage, it's going to be based upon this idea. So that means for every unloader, we're going to end up with a line of blue resources at max compression. Right. Now, what I want to do is use blueprints here. Oops. Pick that up, pick that up. This is going to be fairly excessive. When I say excessive, I mean excessive. So this has got capacity for 300. Oh, sorry, three blue belts at max capacity at the moment. And actually, I might just... do one more blueprint for good luck. Give me 
four at max capacity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what's up. Now, the top edge of the buffer storage is going to look like... this. I'm going to have requested chests. Okay. And the requested chests um, will create the balancing effect. Because what's going to happen is they're each going to request in 50. Okay. And they're just going to request in a small number. Because they're only requesting in small numbers, it'll have the effect that each of these will end up balancing themselves out. Now I just need to blueprint this. And throw it down again. Again. And again. Quite substantial what we're uh, what we're doing here. Which I'm quite excited about because I've been wanting to increase my buffer storage forever. And now I finally get to. So I'm pretty happy about that. Oh. Well, I haven't thought about something rather major. How the bloody heck am we going to power this? <laughs> silly, silly boy. Anyway, blueprints to the rescue. Okay, there we go. Buffer storage complete. There's something else that I probably want to think about as well. Is uh, how I'm going to fit RoboPorts in. And also how I make the power work. So what we'll do is we'll just deconstruct all of that. Damn, that was silly. Very, very silly. Sometimes I wonder, you know. Uh, and what I might also do is re reduce the amount of... Um, space in these last boxes so that it doesn't get too uh, too carried away so I really need to integrate two things into the design firstly I need to integrate how RoboPorts will work how lights will work and how power will work so I'll actually go and do that because that's, that's fairly straightforward to do I think So what I'll do is I'll just get it all to work and then I'll be able to tile it along. Where are some of these? Ah. That's a bugger. See that it's, it's not... Uh, quite reaching into the middle. So there'll be a middle strip of two that won't get powered. Do I compress it by two? Well then I don't get a full blue belt. Oh dear. So this is where the fun in games in design starts to happen. Alternatively, yeah, here's, here's the other alternative, right? Is we just spread things out by two. And make it so that there are... Well, how, how wide are these? Oh, there are three by three. That's no good. Doesn't help me at all. So we'd still have to put RoboPorts in between the two... Actually, the RoboPorts would do something like this. Uh, 
that's how the robo ports would work. That's that's how that would work. So because that's that's the only thing that's really needed is because the the resources will flow in that way. I'm thinking that I expand this by two and just kind of make it miss the middle. I think that's how we do it. So if I want to... Nope, that's not going to work. Hmm. So we'll throw the splitter here. So this is basically so that we can now get rid of the ones that are in the middle or down the middle all the way up and I'm going to add two to each side one two and three why does that why do I think that that doesn't work one So we've got one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've ended up with one too many. Of course, if we're separating this by two, we only need one extra. I've gone one square too far. So to get this to work, we do something like this. Keep snagging bots out of the air. Nope. There we go, something like that. Boom, perfect. So we just need to add an extra one on the end. That's all we need. And then this works fine. So we go one and two. That goes into a splitter. Splitters go down. There we go. That's all we need to do. Now, the result of this is that we can now power everything very, very easily. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. Even though it's missing things still. Um, hmm. This is filling up. That's not good. Quick. <laughs> Stop requesting things. Otherwise, we're going to have a million ore just sitting around. Okay. So we're powered at all. We need to put lights down. Probably put two lights for aesthetics. Will has a rule that uh, the number of lights are proportional to how awesome it is. So if it's awesome, you've got to add more lights. Now I want to blueprint. Oh, I'll just delete that actually. I picked up a few logistics bots. Oh dear. Get rid of them all. Okay, we're good. Rightio, I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. This is gonna this is running over time, so I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna finish off this buffer storage build very, very shortly. Look forward to seeing you then.